Hello, in this video we're going to talk about Cisco SmartPorts macros. What are SmartPort macros? They're templates that are pre-configured with common switch port configurations. For example, if you were going to use a port for an, an access point or if you're using a port for a desktop or connected to another switch, all those types of different purposes, that's what you can use these SmartPort macros for. Now that you know what smart port macros are, why would you want to use them? Well, they help provide a more consistent configuration. They help speed up deployment and they put on the important configurations that you might need to serve a specific purpose. Here's a list of some of the macro types that can be found on many Cisco switches. As you can see, they have desktop, phone, switch, router, and wireless. Each one of these has a different configuration that gets applied to a port when you run that macro against a port. If you want to examine the macros or even just see what macros are available on the switch that you have, you can use the command show parser macro. And it'll list all the different commands and functions that are applied to ports when you use one of these macros. Now that we've talked a little bit about macros, I wanted to go in and actually show you what they look like on a switch. So here's a switch that we're connected to here. And I wanted to show you how you can look at the different macros that are available on a switch. So I'm going to use the show parse macro command. So you can kind of see right in here what different macros are available on here. So here there's a global macro called Cisco-Global. And let's just examine what that macro looks like. We can see there's comments in the macros that tell you what they do. So here, if we apply this macro, we can see it turns on air disable recovery cause, link flap, and it gives us like a little little bit of a description of what that command does. And we see some COS configurations for quality of service for QoS. And we also see some other commands here, spanning tree, other things like that. But if we keep hitting the space bar, we can see other commands that are on here. So we see Cisco desktop, right here and down here we see and you can hear this is all the commands that get applied to a Cisco desktop macro so you can see there's port security port security maximum one so that that command right there I'm not going to go over every single command because there's so many but that command there would only allow one MAC address to show up per, per port so nobody could plug in a, their own switch or anything to that to that interface. Um, also, I just want to make note of there are other commands and variables that you can throw in when you're applying these macros as well. For example, here we have switch port access VLAN, and then they have the dollar sign access underscore VLAN. That's actually a variable keyword that you can use. So if you put that in there, and then you can put the VLAN that you'd like to have assigned to that specific variable when you apply that macro. Okay, and here we have phone, and these are all the common settings you'd want on an interface that is going to be used for voice. So you can see here, the switch port security is a maximum of two because you would want to have two devices maybe set up on a interface that's going to be used for a Cisco phone because you might want to have the phone and then maybe the desktop or laptop or whatever plugged into the phone. So there would be two MAC addresses assigned to that specific port. Alright, and here's the Cisco switch. And you can see this this is the command used to connect another switch to a switch. So you can see we're doing a trunk. Um, again here here's another keyword variable that you can use called switch port um, switch port trunk native VLAN and the keyword is dollar sign native underscore VLAN. And then here's one for router as well and it also makes use of the macro keyword dollar sign native underscore VLAN okay now let's take a look at an interface that's currently set up with an AP connected to it so if you want to look at the configuration on it we can go like this and we can see there's already been a macro applied to this interface. Now if I take that interface, I can 
unzip the configuration to I can default the configuration on an interface like that so now that's back to its default configuration so let's do a show run on that okay you can see there's nothing applied to that interface so let's go back in here and apply a macro to it and the macro I'm going to apply is the Cisco AP or Cisco wireless macro so what, to apply a macro you type in macro trace the name of the macro which in this case is wireless and then we're going to go ahead and use the native VLAN keyword as well and we're going to put the VLAN of 12 in there so we go ahead and hit enter on this and we can see it run through I like using trace because it shows you what different commands are available there. You can use other commands with it as well. There's auto, which does some auto configuration. You can do description, trace, or just apply the macro. I like using trace because you can see all the different commands being applied to that interface. Okay, so let's get out of there and then we'll do a show run on that interface and you can see all of the commands are getting applied to that interface. There you go and it even gives you a description of what macro is being used here's the VLAN information trunk mode so these are all the settings that you would typically want on an interface that's being used for wireless that's pretty much it if you have any questions feel free to comment below thanks for watching